Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, in this World Edit mini series. Last episode, I showed you how to do some really basic commands, cutting, pasting, rotating, that kind of thing. Episode before that, I showed you how to download World Edit and get it installed on your computer. If you've not seen those episodes, links are in the description below. This episode, we're going to talk about how you can move a building from one world to a completely different Minecraft world just by cutting and pasting. It's an incredible feature and I'm gonna share it with you now. So we've come over to the little houses we made in the last episode. I'm just gonna give myself the wand, which is in my hand now, there we go. You can also obviously just grab yourself a wooden ax out of your inventory like we said last time. And what you want to do is you want to select the building that you have built and make sure you do the higher corner first. Select that as your first position first position set, come along and set the second position, which is, remember, that one. That is the second position. Then slash slash copy, and then you want to do slash slash schematic, not skem, always use schematic, and then go save, and then you've got to think of the file name that you're gonna call this, and it's really important that you remember it. So I'm gonna call this house tutorial one. It's a long name, but I should be able to remember that. Schematic save house tutorial one and press enter. You'll notice house tutorial one is now saved. Now I'm just gonna show you where that is saved because you don't have to import this into a world. It is always there ready for you to use. So I'm back on my desktop and I'm gonna open up my Minecraft folder. Now, if you didn't see the last episode, you'll know that you can get to your Minecraft folder by typing in your search app data and percentage so percent app data percentage select that folder there and you've got your minecraft folder there i do recommend you make a shortcut there exactly as i have here open up your folder and if you go to config then go to world edit and go to schematics you'll see this is where all of the schematics that you've got saved will be available for any world that you want to open that's got a world edit capability in it. So I've got a few there and you can see house tutorial one is also there. Let's go over to another world and see if we can't pop it in. So I am here in a flat world and I have already copied across. You can see a few bits and pieces. We've got the tower we built uh, in the last episode. You can see that is over there. There's another little tower I was experimenting with and there's the stables that I did from my walkabout world series the link is in the description for the playlist there where I go around build loads of different types of buildings along a pathway and you can go and world download and it's actually quite a nice little series so do go and have a look at that and see if you like it what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the house that we just copied from that other world and we're going to pop it in here so the way we do that is really really simple we go slash slash schematic and we're going to do load and then we're going to call it house tutorial one loaded right so now that is as if i've just copied house tutorial one in this world so if i then go slash slash paste bang that house is now ported into this world even though i built it in another world so you can see how you could potentially use this feature to kind of experiment and build up the houses that you want to build maybe building up lots and lots of different ones in a practice world or in a some kind of world where you're, you're making your bits and pieces up and then copy and paste those into another world you could use this for doing custom trees just build up i don't know maybe 10 or 12 different types of custom tree and then you can cut and paste them into a creative world as you go i think it is a superb feature it is such a quick and easy feature to use the schematic method in World Edit to bring houses from one world to another. It's just superb. If you've not quite got it, let me know in the comments below and maybe I can help you out. I'd be more than happy to try. I think this is one of the most powerful tools that you have got in World Edit. Next episode, we are going to do some major terraforming. Next episode is the last episode. I hope you enjoy it. If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.